All right, thank you all for joining us today for an afternoon of gratitude and thankful recognition. My name is John Cervenka, and I have the honor of being your host today. So, hey, please give a Zoom thumbs up if this is your very first time attending a Foothill family event. Let me see those thumbs go up. Oh, fantastic. Well, today is a very special day as we connect from our homes to see the great impact that Foothill Family continues to make in our communities. We are grateful to you for all being here with us and for taking the time to be advocates for this great cause. We are now more than ever in need of your help and the work of Foothill Family. So today we want you to sit back, have fun, connect with your fellow supporters, and more importantly, help Foothill Family make a difference in the community. And now here's a very special word from a close friend. Hi there, I'm Supervisor Catherine Barger, Chair of the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. Thank you to Foothill Family for all you do to uplift and support our community. Though we have faced so many challenges this year, I'm grateful that Foothill Family has continued to provide much needed resources for residents throughout the San Gabriel Valley. The way you meet the needs of clients has changed yet the services you provide are more important than ever. In light of everything we've all endured this year, Foothill Family's mental health resources are absolutely crucial. The pandemic has had a serious impact on the emotional, social, and educational well-being of our youth. Your childhood development case management is immensely appreciated to support school-aged children and their parents. It is my privilege to partner with impactful community-based organizations like Foothill Family. You're our eyes and ears, making sure our neighbors in the San Gabriel Valley have what they need to thrive. Thank you, Foothill Family, for bringing hope and healing to so many people every day. I'm grateful to join you in honoring Anita Lawler, a dedicated community leader and friend. Thank you, Anita, for your time talent, and leadership over the past decade at Foothill Family. Thanks to everyone who has supported this special event and this incredible organization. Together, children and families in our neighborhoods can continue to succeed. Thank you, Catherine, for that beautiful, heartfelt message. You know, Foothill Family was founded in 1926 in Pasadena, California, by key community volunteer, Ms. Josephine Mars, who yes. passed the hat to assist neighbors in need. She, she became the actually the very first director of the agency. To honor this humble origin, we continue Mrs. Marsh's legacy, raise important funds for our client services through a friendly competition between teams today. We also continue a tradition of honoring our most gracious community leaders by tipping our caps and thanking them for their service to the Foothill family community. Today, we will pass the virtual hat, not only seeking your financial support like Mrs. Marsh did 95 years ago, but to also pass our hats bringing you, our community stakeholders, together in a dire time of need. I have been a proud member of the Foothill family family for many, many years, and I know that firsthand how powerful the agency's mental health youth and family, and school-based services and early childhood development case management really are. So put yourself in our client's shoes just for a moment. Imagine not having access to basic necessities on a regular basis or items to care for your young child. Imagine not having a roof over your head or even food in your bellies or a phone to call for help. Now imagine all of these things and not having access to the kind of care that we provide here. So this is why we're all here today, to help our community and empower them to become beautiful citizens within our community, led by Foothills Powerful Services. Our CEO has been roaming <laughs> with his hat and film crew. So let's take a look at what's going on. Hi hey folks, I'm Steve Allen, CEO of Foothill Family and we're here at City Hall in Pasadena. We'd really like to see if we could catch the mayor and the deputy mayor. And I brought a hat for the Pasta Hat Luncheon with me to see if we might even get a contribution. 
Now they do know that we're coming, uh, but let's see what happens. Now I do have my mask and I shall make sure I put my Whole family branded mask on, and we'll be appropriately socially distanced. So, why don't you come and join me and let's see who we can find? Hey, how's it going? Hey, good, good to see you. Hey, look, we got the same mask on. I like that. Hey, look, this could catch on. It definitely will. Wow, I'm impressed. Wow, you, you really look the part. Well, thank you, you as well. You know, so, uh, it's been what. Since the gala? Since the, the gala, time yes, the, and the gala was amazing, had a fantastic time there. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so well, we're glad. so happy for the work that you do, and I'm always supporting and advertising and letting people know that mental mental services, mental health services is, is much needed right now. Right. So right. we've got to continue to support you. Well, I hope you don't mind me asking, this is a completely voluntary thing, but um, we're passing the hat for the Pass the Hat luncheon, and there's no pressure, you don't have to give. But the cameras are rolling, so... <laughs> do you take Apple Pay? I do. <laughs> I do. Hey, look! Wait. This is, this is even more impressive than I thought it was going to be. We can do Apple Pay, everybody. Yeah. Right? I like that. You don't have to add a cash. I like that. Just put your passcode in and... Well, I thought you were going to put the it phone in then. Well, I'll tell you, you can take the phone. <laughs> Hey, we really appreciate your support. Appreciate you as well. So, well, let's... let's oh, yeah, do. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Take care. Hello everybody, my name is Tyrone Hampton. I'm the Vice Mayor for the City of Pasadena. And I am here to t today to tell you, please support Foothill families, especially with everything that's going on right now in our world with COVID and people being at home, isolation. Mental health services are in dire need right now. So we need your support. Please continue to support Foothill families. God bless you and thank you. Oh, you so that was fun. Um, that was our bike. Yeah, it's kind of nice that they can see people. So again, I'm going to place my yeah, mask. Here? No, no, it's all right. Oh, okay. She's around. Here we go. It's Friday. I'm told it's a good day. Oh, look at this. Howdy. Man, how good to see you. Welcome to my house. Oh, I'm very impressed. <laughs> hey, I'm also impressed with the mask. Oh, with this old thing? Oh. <laughs> hey, thank you for your time. And for, uh, I think it's been about a year now since we uh, saw you at the... Pass the hat yeah, we're all we're all doing things a little bit differently, aren't we? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, somehow enjoy the luncheon more. <laughs> but we've all got to do things the way we have to do them in this upside down world. And I, I want to make sure that I can at least do my part. In terms of well, we really appreciate that, Matt. I'm sorry I couldn't come with a packed lunch. Maybe if I'd have thought that one through. <laughs> but I did bring the hat. And well, I don't want to put I... any pressure on you, but... No, no, no. I'm happy to contribute. Well, I wish it was more. And, and uh, I really... Um, I mean, I really need to say that, that I'm going to yes, step I, forward. Yes, please do. I, I need to say that Pasadena relies on its nonprofits to deliver, you know, really important services to residents. Foothill Family uh, Services, in terms of what they do, particularly in the area of mental health uh, and early childhood development, is something that we absolutely rely on. City Hall, as much as we try to deliver service to our people, we can't do the kinds of things that these organizations do. And mental health services in this crazy world that we're dealing with are so vital, we're so appreciative that they've been able to continue and really even step up their services in the area of mental health and domestic violence support, early childhood development. We're really grateful and I gotta tell you, I'm so looking forward to when we can get back to having nice lunches together and we can pass the hat in person. But thank you very much. Thank you, Matt. So that concludes our visit to City Hall and uh, while we've got momentum I should share that we have a brand new board member Chris Lithgow whose father Nigel Lithgow you probably know he was the creator of Pop Idol and uh, a whole myriad of other things. Well I'm going to ask Chris if he'll go and visit his father and uh, take his hat with him. So Chris I'm throwing it to you. Oh thanks Steve. Hi, Dad. We're raising some money from Foothill Families. We'd love you to make a donation. Foothill Families? That's where you've just joined the board. Yep, very honoured and privileged to be a board member there, Matt. Uh, you got some money for a donation? Uh, sorry, mate. What about the other pocket? Oh, great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Cheers, Steve. Oh, thanks, Chris. 
And thanks, Nigel, for your very generous contribution. We really appreciate it. Now, I'm just trying to think about the final throw. There's been a lot of talk about judges. So maybe our own advisory board member, Judge Christina Perez, will be a great way to finish this segment. Let's see if I can throw it to Glenda. Thanks, Steve. Hello, everybody. My name is Christina Perez, or your favorite TV judge, Judge Christina from Justice for All. I am so proud to be part of Foothill Family. I was a member of the Board of Trustees, and now I am a member of the Advisory Board. Foothill Family is so important to our communities, especially now during these trying times in, in, in our nation, in our communities. Foothill Family is still there, giving back to our communities, giving back to the families who really need it most. So it's so important that we support them and honestly count our blessings that we have and continue to support those families and support Foothill family because they're doing work that is so important to all of us. So with that, I hope that you guys consider in donating some money and pass the hat. So here is my donation. There you go. There you go, Steve. Oh, thank you, Christina. And thank you for your kind words. We really appreciate your support. So we've done good. This is an exciting morning. Let's see if we can get a shot of all this. Uh, hang on a minute, what's this? Huh. Thank you, Steve. Well done, I have to say. So anyway, Foothill Family builds brighter futures by empowering children and families in our community to overcome challenges and achieve success in relationships, school, and work. You know, rooted in care since 1926, Foothill Family provides a broad range of community-based mental health and school services and social services to at-risk children and families in the San Gabriel, Pomona Valleys, and Glendale and Burbank. Last year alone, Foothill Family's life-changing programs and outreach touched more than 21,000 lives. Wow. So for a moment, we want to give you all an opportunity to share your passion for Foothill Family. You'll now be asked to join a breakout room hosted by your very own team captain. Take this time to get to know one another and share how the agency has impacted your lives. We'll see you in a few minutes. And don't forget to come back. Now, our guide will be sure you click the right button as you return to the main screen. Thank you. All right, well, welcome back everybody. I hope you had a great time connecting with friends and making some new friends. Uh, I jumped into one of the breakout rooms myself and it was great. So now I would like to say, here is a message from Steve as we honor community leader, Anita Lawler. Take it away, Steve. First of all, I'd like to thank you for joining us today in our first ever virtual Pass the Hat event, an afternoon of gratitude and giving. This next part of the program is very special because we get to honor and acknowledge a great leader, Anita Lala. Anita has been an outstanding board member for many years, an inspiration to so many. Anita's worn many hats, which is quite appropriate for today. She's been the board affairs chair, She's been the chair of the corporate committee, the executive committee, and the first Latina chair of the board of directors. In addition to this, Anita has been a long time member and supporter of Friends of Foothill. She's been a great community advocate and she's been there representing Foothill family on many occasions, including foundation meetings, including accreditation. She's been to all our school graduations. There's been many events, the galas. She even found time to visit our staff retreat, always with an encouraging word, which has gone a long way with our Foothill family staff. Anita and Vince truly walk the walk in so many different ways. Your love for our families that we serve, support and empower is clearly evident. And so it's a great privilege at this time to give you this virtual award, which is literally winging its way to you as we speak. But in the meantime, we would like to raise our glasses and most of you will have your own Foothill family commemorative glass. I would ask you to join with me as we raise our glasses to Anita for the great work and the impact that you've had on Foothill family and the community at large. 
Cheers, Anita. Cheers. Thank you all so much. It's a great honor to be the recipient of the Foothill Family Pass the Hat Award. I'm very grateful to all the staff, board members, and the friends of Foothill Family who have helped to make this all happen. And I'm thankful to all the team captains and our very own friends, both near and far, who are generously supporting me in this event. Over the past several years, I have been fortunate to work with many exceptional people at Foothill. First, hats off to Lindsay and the development team for hosting our first ever virtual Pass the Hat. And Steve, you've been a dynamic leader to this organization. The success and growth of Foothill is a result of your tenacity and hard work. And I have thoroughly enjoyed working with you and appreciate all of your diligence and care for Foothill family. And thank you to everyone at home who's tuned in today. Thank you for everything that you do for your families, your communities, and for taking the time to be here. I know many of you across all teams and I'm so proud to call many of you my friends. And finally, thank you to my dear husband, Vince, for your love and support. Vince spent many hours making sure that everyone was registered and ready to roll for this event. Vince, you're fantastic in every way and I appreciate everything that you do. If somebody would have asked me as a young girl where I thought I'd be at this very moment, I could never have imagined that my life could have ever been so blessed. As a daughter of immigrant parents growing up in a mostly white neighborhood, things were sometimes a little bit rough. My siblings and I tried to fit in the best that we could, but our culture wasn't always welcomed by our community. My father worked really long hours at a power plant. And even though we were lucky to have my mom home with us, she was always so, so sad. My mother suffered from severe depression and spent most of her unfortunately short life detached, crying and upset. She found joy in very little. She neglected herself and in turn us. My poor mother, along with the rest of my family, needed help for so long, and things were tough for many years until I realized as a teenager that I had something that could save me from everything, from it all. I realized I had a team behind me. I had a very caring aunt, a few teachers who saw something that I didn't, and friends who cheered me throughout the toughest of times. They believed in my capabilities, they listened, they mentored, and they encouraged. And they all told me that I could do anything I wanted. And I'm not sure why, but I believe them. And I'm glad that I did. And so here we are, many, many years later. And I've come to realize that people need each other. And everyone deserves to have a team. I think back to my mother's struggles. And I understand at the most basic level why the work at Foothill has become a passion for me. I love this organization because it gives me the opportunity to be part of someone else's team, to be a part of something that is enriching the lives of young people and families is everything to me. When we serve others, it gives hope, it gives possibility, and it changes lives for the better. My team definitely changed my life. They would not have been able to overcome all the various obstacles and accomplish everything that I have without them. I'm so inspired by the work of Foothill family and the people that give selflessly to ensure that the generations ahead of us have the tools that they need to be successful. But this is a really hard time for many folks out there. This pandemic has left families more challenged than ever and the stress of financial insecurity and unemployment of many across the San Gabriel and Pomona Valleys has created an even more unstable situation for those who are already vulnerable. More than ever, the mental health of our communities is at stake. Everyone who's joining us today is already part of a team, figuratively speaking, um, or a team captain. 
Um, and I hope that this program inspires you to seek opportunities to help to make an impact, not only as a supporter, but also as an advocate, providing a voice for those who are not being heard. Thank you again for this honor. Thank you to everyone. Thank you for opening your hearts for this event. And thank you to everyone who has been part of my team throughout my life. Yeah, that, and yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. If I could jump in and squeeze here next to you. Uh, I wanted to just on, on behalf of Foothill families, uh, clients, and all the uh, all the families in the San Gabriel Valley wanted to offer this uh, award to you, token of our appreciation, everybody's appreciation for all that you do, and and th you know how special you are to everyone, especially me, of course, uh, but everyone that you inspire for all your leadership and the impact that you make, uh, for everyone you touch, particularly and especially to your work with Foothill. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Oh, thank you, Vince. Thank you. Right, Anita, thank you so much for that very heartfelt message and for all the work that you've done and will continue to do for everyone here at Foothill Family Service. So congratulations. You know, I also would like to say a big thank you to the Outlook newspaper and specifically Charlie Plowman. Last week, he wrote a beautiful article about not only you, Anita, but the past the hat event today. So thank you, Charlie, for being part of the Foothill family as well. You know, be before we watch a client testimonial, we want to share an update with you about last year's event speaker, Emily Luna. Many of you were there in person, as was I, and it was a touching story. As you may recall, Emily shared that her powerful story with us. Emily became pregnant at a very young age. She lost the love of her life in a tragic situation, and she and her family moved from one end of Los Angeles County to another. While going through these very difficult times in her life, Emily was connected to us through our teen family service program and successfully graduated high school. But her success story continues. We're happy to share that Emily is now in her second year of college at Cal Poly Pomona. She's received the Beckman Educational Fund Scholarship for the second year and looks forward to one day work, working for Foothill family as a therapist right here. Now, let's hear about Joey. Joey when he was five years old. He and his mom had to flee um, another state due to domestic violence. They came here to California to find a home where they can stay for temporarily until they found housing. Joey was referred uh, to Foyle family um, because he was in a sober living home with his mother um, and in that sober living home um, his mother was jeopardizing his placement due to her drug abuse. His social worker thought, you know, that he would benefit from the wraparound program. We receive a client that has some high-risk issues. Uh, we work with that, uh, that client and the family and extended family that they are living with, and our role is really to try to uh, maintain some safety and stability with the family. I worked with Joey as his therapist. He has a lot of trauma that he experienced. He, he witnessed a lot of domestic violence between his mom and dad, and he had a lot of anger inside of him. Throughout the time that I worked with Joey, um, I was able to go to um, his home, um, go to various schools that he attended. I worked with him in helping him express himself and share about the experiences that he had. There was a lot of layers of um, trauma that he had. 
And so working those layers of trauma with him were painful. Throughout the program, um, Joey has learned how to trust adults through the consistency uh, that the team has provided and through the new foster um, mother that was there and would not give up and continues to not give up on Joey. I was able to say, okay, there's less aggressive behavior um, and he was able to be polite um, and express himself in a, in a positive manner. 100% they've given every effort that they can um, and I can say have been successful in maintaining that safety and instilling hope. So I think Joy was able to observe that we would not give up no matter uh, what behavior he displayed. Um, there were times that he also displayed aggressive behavior towards the team um, and we did not leave. We were able to really follow him, really never give up, really see him with eyes of compassion, give Foothill family an opportunity. Um, Joey has personally told me, you know, if it wasn't for Rapero, um, he doesn't know where he would be and it has really helped him. So we did hear that he's going to come back to us and we're going to continue to support him and follow him wherever he's at and continue to help him and give him the tools he needs to be successful. Our work is never done, but we're, our doors are always open. Wow. What an amazing story. And that is why we're all here today. So our best to Joey and all the people that are helping him. So Foothill Family was founded by community members who passed the hat to assist neighbors in need. I'm excited and grateful to those who have already contributed to Foothill Family for this event. To each of you, thank you so much. To honor this humble origin, we will now kick off a friendly competition between teams. We will have about four minutes to donate to Foothill Family to help clients like Emily, Joey, and thousands more. So let me walk you through how this is going to be in this new virtual space. In the chat, we have provided a quick link for you to click to visit our giving center where you likely registered to attend today's event. We have also texted you all. You have already created an account where you can easily sign in with your email address and password, or perhaps you have already done so, even better. Find your team captain's name, and that is where you will contribute to help your team win the Pass the Hat Challenge today. Okay, now it's time for the challenge. So, ready, set, go. All right. Now remember, the goal is 100% participation, and I know you can do it. So have fun, be generous, and be engaged. And remember all the wonderful stories you've heard today, because there are many that you haven't heard, and those lives are being affected as well. So you can donate by credit card, which is very easy and very secure. You can do that today, or you can send Foothill family on the Zoom chat a private message of your intention to donate via check at a later time. Now remember, donations via credit card through the Giving Center, they're encouraged. It, it helps us total the final score today at the end of this four minute round. And it's safe and it's very secure. Oh, and team captains, please feel free to chat, text, email. I mean, send a paper airplane if you want to your team members now. Help them help you win this challenge today to raise the most money for Foothill family. Remember, you're making a big impact on the community, and we all appreciate your generosity. So now more than ever, you can make a difference through your support of any amount. So about two minutes, two minutes remain, so please jump in. The numbers are going up and up and up. Keep it going. This is amazing. You guys, thank you so much to all of you that are donating now or have already donated to the cause today. Excellent. Okay, we're, we're getting close to about a minute, about a minute out. So please, if you have a problem, hit that chat button, let people know you need some help. Otherwise, just keep doing what you're doing. This is incredible. Look at this number. It is going up and up and up. You are making a big difference today. Keep it going, everyone. Don't stop. If you're having any trouble, push through it, ask a question in the chat, and we'll help you out. Fantastic. Again, if you'd like to use your credit card, it's really, really easy. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. So the Pass Hat Challenge is coming close to an end. So thank you for making your final donations. Do it right now. 
Now, please stand by. We're getting close to where we're going to start tallying the numbers. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being involved today and for all your generosity. When you're weary and feeling small, when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. Sam is 17 and transgender. Sam feels vulnerable and lost. He has isolated himself at home and at school with little motivation to engage in any activities related to his interests or hobbies. Struggling with depression, gender identity, and low self-esteem for several years is taking a toll on his relationships and grades. Sam has thoughts of suicidal ideation and is hospitalized. Then, Sam found Foothill Family. I'm on your side. Nancy is a victim of domestic violence, physical, verbal, and emotional abuse. Nancy needs to protect her two children, so she flees from Indiana all the way to California where they will be safe. They sleep in their car for several months at a time while Nancy works to save every penny she can for a motel room. Nancy is concerned for the future of her family. Then, Nancy found Foothill. I'll take you home. Right, we are back. I cannot believe the generosity of this entire group. It is unbelievable. While you were all doing that, we were looking at the numbers coming in and it, it is fantastic. So I also want to say thank you for that beautiful presentation that we all just watched. I also want to thank you to all of those wonderful clients that are being helped that were willing to share their story today. It really punctuates what is going on here at Foothill Family. And literally there are so many stories, as those videos said, thousands more of families that are being positively impacted by Foothill Family. So to each of you, thank you so much for stepping up and for supporting the work of Foothill Family. I'm excited to share now that in those four minutes together, we raised, are we ready to go with that final? Oh my gosh. 77,601 dollars. That is unbelievable for the first ever virtual pass the hat. Your generosity is truly incredible. So thank you all very much. Now, are we ready to announce the top three teams? All right. So what I'm going to do is start with the third place team. And to all the teams out there, thank you. Without you, we would have never gotten to that total amount. So are we ready to announce the third place team? 
Okay, we need just a minute. We're just doing the final calculations. So um, you'll have to let us know, by the way, after the fact, how much you enjoyed this because we're getting text messages, we're getting emails. Everyone that logged in today and was part of the Pass the Hat event today is having a great time. Anita, again, thank you so much for all your work. Thank you all of you that have been a part of this very successful event. And I also wanna say thank you to the staff that you never really get to see behind the scenes at Foothill Family and the development staff in the business side, all the counselors and therapists, the work that you are doing, you truly are the stars of today's event. So thank you for what you're doing and the impact that you're making in this community. And to all the donors out there, please don't keep the work that Foothill Family is doing a secret. Share it with your friends, share it with your family, the group of supporters is growing every year and it's so important. Okay, are we ready now? We are ready. So drum roll, please. This is honorable mention for the third place team. It goes to Chuck Tabor team. All right, Chuck, congratulations to you and your very generous team. Thank you so much. Now, Let's go to the second place team. The honorable mention for the second place goes to Mike Buchanan team. Mike, congratulations. Thank you for all your generosity and for your entire team support. Now, uh, we have the honor of presenting the award to the team who raised the most money today. Thank you so much to our first place captains, Anita and Vince Lawler, what a surprise. All right, we have something for you. So to you, Anita and Vince, we have this wonderful support recognition for you. Um, I'm holding a trophy that is very fancy and it's just for you and we cannot wait to get it to you as a small token of, of the appreciation of everyone here at Foothill Family for today's effort. And you get to have bragging rights for another year. Okay, so there you go. Thank you so much. This has been an amazing afternoon. I'm gonna throw it over now to Steve. Steve, take it away. Thank you, John. And thank you, John, for doing such a great job as our MC today. We're really grateful for that. And thank you to Lindsay and the development team, um, to Patty Johnson for helping to put this together, our first ever virtual Pass the Hat event. Congratulations, Anita. We're so thrilled to be able to honor you. And now here we are congratulating you on the winning team captains, you and Vince. So we're so grateful for your support. And thank you to all of you who have supported today, not only in attendance, but your generous support and generosity. So look, what better way to finish than to raise our glasses and join together as our Foothill family. And when I say our Foothill family, I mean, that's you, our loyal supporters, our fine staff, and the thousands of families that we're proud to serve. This has been an amazing day. I'm blown away by that total, by the way, and what a time that we need those funds and how we can put those to good use. So thank you again for your generosity. Please unmute yourselves. We're gonna raise our glasses to Foothill family, <clears throat> all of us combined. So, Foothill family. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everybody. <clears throat> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Oh, where is it? Oh, look, there is it. <laughs> hey, I got a call.